Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. And today I'll be revealing all of my old clubs or my current golf clubs in my bag, as well as a brand new set that I just received. And I'm pretty excited to hit it. It's been a long time since I've got new clubs. So I'll be going through the design of my bag also and, and why I choose different clubs and, and things like that. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Okay, so um, I just want to first reveal kind of the wedges in my bag. So you'll see a lot of wear and tear on it. Um, it's been probably about six years since I've gotten new wedges, but I have a 58 degree, a 50 degree, and a pitching wedge. I'm actually missing uh, a wedge because when I you know, arrived in Singapore, I think when I was at the range, someone like took it. <laughs> so um, I've been playing with three wedges, so I've, I've kind of adapted my game to only have these wedges. If I pull one out, you can kind of see the bottom. It's really, really worn out. And then uh, if I show you the grooves, check this out. See how worn that is? And, and sorry, I didn't really clean the grooves either, but it's just completely worn out. Um, so I've been in desperate need of new wedges for a very long time. So I'm quite embarrassed to show you guys this, but uh, yeah, all the more reason I, why I need new clubs. The other cool thing is on my 58 and 50 degree wedge, I got these custom initials on there. Just my name initials, Jonathan Kim Moss, that was cool. So I'm, I'm using the Mizuno S18s and I, I had these wedges when I was playing professional golf full time. And for my irons, I'll kind of reveal the seven iron first, but it's the Mizuno MP18s. I know there's a little bit of rust there, but uh, yeah, it's pretty worn out. You can kind of see it, but uh, yeah, I've been using these because Mizuno, when I was playing, they gave me the set. And so I've been using it ever since. I haven't really felt the need to change it. The shaft that I use for all of my irons is the KBS Tour C Taper, 130 grams, extra stiff. This is probably the heaviest shaft that they could give me at the time. I, I, I just like the weight of it, anything lighter, I feel like I can't really feel the club face. It also helps me with the ball flight and you know lowering the spin and, and, and stuff like that. So it helped me in, increase the distance a bit more. If I use lighter shafts, I, it hits it really, really high and I, I, I lose quite a lot of distance. So just to show you guys the full set. So that's the five, four, and three. So I have like, I basically have pitching wedge all the way up to two iron, okay? All the same shafts, right? KBS Tour C Taper 130X. This is my favorite club in the bag, the MMC Fly Highs. I'm not sure if you can even get this anymore. You can kind of see the bottom there, the two iron. The reason why it's my favorite is because when I look down at it, it looks just super clean. It looks really, really like there's barely any loft on it, which I like. And obviously when I hit it, I can hit it quite far, hit it around 250, 260. If I crush it, under the right conditions, I can go 270. It's just this really, really nice ball flight. Even in the two iron, uh, I have the same shaft as all my irons, just because also you can't really find it. So that's also why it's my favorite club. And this is my three wood here. This is the um, TaylorMade Sim, okay? And I've got a 14 degrees of loft. It's a very low lofted three wood. I don't honestly really use this much on the golf course, unless the par fives are really, really long or if there's a tee shot that don't really want, want to hit driver, if there's some trouble or water in play, then I would maybe occasionally hit this. I can hit it like definitely over 280 if I really, really hit well. But I even set the loft even lower. So this is, this is basically like a baby driver. I picked this up like not too long ago, maybe two years ago, but I bought this because I was short on clubs. I, I didn't have a full set beyond my two iron. So I just added this in. I will definitely want to replace it with something that's more practical for me. With the shaft, it's the Diamana and the FW75, the X-Flex, so Mitsubishi. Again, this is just the, the stiffest shaft that I could find uh, in Singapore, so that's, that's why I got it. So not a lot of choices for me here, but... And then here's my driver. And I got this custom head cover with my logo on there. I thought this was pretty nice. The driver I have is the ST180 Mizuno. Not a very common driver, I don't think. So, I mean, most people would kind of have TaylorMade, Titleist, you know, Cobra. This was actually my spare driver for, for quite a long time. I actually had the a Ping driver, the Ping G30. The reason I chose this one is because well, my old one broke. So the face cracked. So I had no other choice. So I'm glad I actually brought this down from Toronto. It's like set at like 7.5 degrees of loft. And my whole life, I've really struggled with getting a driver that's fit correctly for me, just because it tends to launch really high with quite a lot of spin. 
So anything with the lowest amount of loft really helped me uh, to lower the, the, the flight and the spin as well. So this, this one, it's pretty much the only driver that I could find that could set it down this low loft. The shaft is a Mitsubishi Tensei CK series, the 70 grams uh, X-Flex. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's uh, uh, the white color shaft. And again, the, the strongest shaft that uh, they could provide for me at that time. But if you guys see my course vlogs, um, I hit this thing so well. Probably my driving is probably one of the strongest parts of my game. I very rarely miss, really, really miss hit this one. So it served me quite well, even though it was technically my spare driver. People always ask me about this all the time because it's, it's, it's blue. And uh, I don't think you can really find a, a driver that's this, that's this color. So I really enjoy this one. Lastly, my putter, which I recently ordered just a couple months ago, is a Scotty Cameron Special Select. You can kind of see a unique color on this. So this one is the Special Select Flowback 5.5. And you can kind of see the color is really, really unique. So it's just really pleasing to the eye. It also has like a stability shaft in it, which just be, makes the shaft overall more balanced. So not, not one end, end is heavier than the other. And that to me actually feels really, really nice when I, when I stand over it or like swing the putter head. This one um, I ordered kind of online. If you guys are interested in maybe ordering from that same location with custom putters, um, I can leave the link in the description. That's pretty much it for my current bag. Just in case you guys are wondering what my bag actually is, it's not a carry bag, okay? But um, just because in Singapore or in Asian countries, you don't typically walk, okay? So don't really sell a lot of like carry bags like in the US. But this is a, a PXG bag. Again, this is quite a unique bag. I don't think I've ever seen a bag that is one, this color or this texture this design, I think thought it was pretty cool. I actually got this in Korea. By the way, in Korea, the golf attire, bags, everything like that is top tier. Super nice. You can't really find golf equipment like that anywhere else. Once I saw this, I immediately kind of fell in love with it. Yeah, I've, I've been using this ever since. It's quite heavy, but it's got a lot of pockets, only has one strap on it and it's been really, really nice. I've got a lot of compliments on this bag. So this is what I'm currently using. So let's reveal the new clubs. So now it's time for the reveal of my new clubs. And just so you guys know, the brand is actually called Tacomo. It is a company that's based out of Finland and they actually manufacture their clubs in Japan. They actually create really high quality clubs, really, really nice clubs that are just sold for a more affordable price. Here's the seven iron. I still have the wrapper on it. I did that purposely because when I reveal it to you guys, I think it's quite satisfying. It just looks super clean, really, really nice. Uh, it's just really satisfying to actually look at. Okay, so if you guys want to know the specs on this, um, I can actually leave it on the screen. If you want to know the lofts, all that stuff, you can also look at their website. I can leave all the links to um, this brand in the description box below. But if you just look at it, it just looks really, really good. That's, that's kind of what attracted me to this. And I've kind of known about this brand for a little while now, but they sent me these clubs and I just want to show you how nice they are. So this is the seven iron, just to go over the wedges first. In my old set, you guys know that I had like a 58, 50 and a pitching wedge, I was missing a wedge. In my new set here, I've got a 60 degree wedge, 56 degree wedge, 52 and then a pitching wedge. Okay, so I'm going to take these off. I'll just show you guys these one at a time as I'm taking the wrappers off. Okay, so this is the 56 degree wedge. Again, super clean. And actually have full, nice, clean grooves on them now. And there's no rust, which is nice. Actually, you can see a number at the bottom here. It says 56, that's the degrees of loft on the wedge, and then the bounce number, uh, number 12. So I got like 12 degrees of bounce, um, just the standard amount of bounce. So I didn't really request for uh, lower or higher, amount, higher amounts of bounce. I've always played with standard uh, bounce wedges, so I just feel more comfortable that way. So that's standard bounce for all my wedges. And then here is the 52 degree wedge. Okay, same clean look. And the 52 degree also, also has about 10 degrees uh, of bounce on it. Okay, just so you guys know, for my wedges, uh, the shafts that I chose, again, it's KBS. It's KBS Tour, but it's a 90 degrees, or sorry, not 90 degrees, but 90 uh, grams of weight. 
extra stiff. This is slightly lighter than uh, my iron shafts just because I felt with like such a stiff shaft uh, or st stiff and heavy shaft on my wedges, it was actually quite hard to feel things out for me for, for, for some reason. So I got, I kind of got like stand more standard wedge shafts. Um, so that'll actually help me feel out um, my rhythm a bit better. Okay, so that's the reason behind that. Now this is the hitching wedge. Okay, so very, very clean again. And again, the stats are gonna be on the screen somewhere, on the lofts and lies and all that stuff. And with this one, again, uh, pitching wedge, the shaft starts to be a bit different now. So with all of my irons from pitching wedge to four iron, KBS Tour, 130 grams extra stiff. This one is quite similar to uh, my old shaft, which is the C-Tapers. Same weight and everything. And again, the closest to, to, to what I can kind of feel or a similar feel with my old irons. I'm gonna just go ahead and just take all of these off. This is my eight iron here. I'm actually really excited to hit these. So I'm gonna hit these just after I kind of show my reasoning behind why I actually created this set. And if you look at my bag as well, you'll notice that Besides my wedges, pitching wedge up to four iron, I actually have my three iron and my two iron still in the bag from my old set. Um, just because obviously if, if there's a gap for, between my three wood and my four iron, there's just gonna be a big distance gap there. So I kept my three iron and obviously my two iron, my favorite club. Just so you can kind of get a good look of them, really clean looking and kind of maybe the back end of these wedges, okay, really nice. And then I'll just show you guys maybe my four iron. I'll give you a look at the long irons here. So yeah, they all have that same look, super nice. So this is the, it's the 301 CBs. They have different models, but I think this one, um, I chose this because it quite it looks quite similar to my MP18s that I had previously. So it's quite easy on the eye. Um, it looks very familiar to me. It won't look drastically different to where, you know, if I look down at the clubs, it might look a bit uncomfortable or something like that. So it has a very similar look. Uh, again, I'm assuming just because it was manufactured in, in Japan. I'll, I'll kind of give you guys a look from the top view, just so you kind of see what it looks like while you're standing over it, maybe compared to my old set. Let me just grab my seven iron here. One thing I really like, or I think is important to me, is when I'm standing over it and I'm kind of looking down at the club, the top line is fairly thin. And what I mean by top line, is if you come in closer, like this part at the top of the club, like when I look down at it, if it looks really thick, it just kind of looks chunky to me. But this is um, a fairly reasonable sized top line. It's quite similar. So when I look down at it, it actually looks almost the same, almost identical. So I, I won't have this visual like awkwardness if I'm standing over a shot. The other thing is that a four iron, if I do the same thing with a four iron, it actually looks the, the, the Tacomos actually look a little bit smaller to me. So you can kind of see maybe visually that, I mean, when I look at the grooves, it looks quite similar, but the head overall is actually, appears a little bit smaller to me, which, which I'm actually okay with. I kind of like it looking small. It'll give me, you know, maybe add some, a little bit more pressure to hit it nice. But if I do make contact, it'll probably be more in the sweet spot. That's kind of how I think about it. Again, it looks really, really clean from the top. So I don't, again, it, it's very, very similar style um, to the MP18s, um, which is an easier transition for me. So now one thing I wanted to maybe explain is um, the, the reason why I kind of leave these three iron and two, uh, two iron from my old bag is because with a three iron, I hit this club close to like 240, 250 sometimes. If I have a two iron in the bag, I hit this maybe over 250. So it kind of bridges that gap between uh, my four iron and the three wood. I usually use my two iron on like my second shot on par fives, on like tee shots a lot. That gets me to a good spot. So I think now with this new set here, I don't have any issues with distance gaps. The only thing I'm really concerned about is like with these wedges here, like my 60 degree wedge, 56 and 52, these are slightly different lofts, right? It's a little bit higher lofted wedges. So I'll probably have to like adjust my wedge game a little bit and my distance control. So the next time I, I play on the course with this, yeah, I might might leave things a bit short or hit things higher or with a bit more spin. So it'll take me some time to kind of adjust. But I think after a few rounds, I should be fine. I finally have like four wedges, which is a relief because usually like when I was playing outside, I would have to like really manipulate my 50 degree wedge a lot or my 58, which is quite difficult. But now that I have like an extra wedge, 
Um, I can feel more comfortable, not have to like change the length of my backswing, stuff like that. So that should be a lot easier for me. All right, so now that I kind of explained what my new clubs look like and why I have certain clubs in the bag, it's time to test these out. So I'm pretty excited to hit the wedges first. Now, I know what you guys are thinking, probably it's, it's indoors, you're not gonna get the right feel. I completely get it. Uh, it's just a bit more difficult for me to get um, access to the course um, in Singapore. So I have no other choice. I can't wait any longer. So I want to hit these out and I'll just kind of maybe explain the differences that I feel and hopefully I can make center contact on my first shot. That's kind of the biggest thing I always uh, worry about when I get new clubs because I want to make sure that uh, I get the right feel and a good sensation of what it's like to hit the middle. I'm going to start off with the 60 degree wedge. I'm going to hit my 60 degree wedge my seven iron and then the four iron. I think that'll give me a pretty good idea. So, I mean, I'm just gonna hit a few like chip shots first, um, just to get a sense of how the ball feels off the face. And when I look down at the 60 degree wedge, just because I'm not used to having 60 degrees, I feel like I have so much loft on the face. And, and I, even though it's just kind of indoors, I, I do feel like it's definitely launching much higher, so I know I'm gonna have to adjust a lot when it comes to short game. Okay, so I'm gonna just maybe like my half swing here. Does feel quite nice. All right, so, all right, didn't make a mark yet. Let me do a full swing, that actually feels okay. Wedges feel really nice. Okay, so here's the, here's the mark on the wedge see it so successful pretty happy <laughs> in a weird satisfying way let's try it out another full swing so I'm quite quite eager to get on the course again and see how the ball reacts actually like on real grass you know initial thoughts it does feel quite soft it does feel a little bit different because the shaft again like I said before a little bit lighter than my previous wedges but I do feel like I can actually have a bit better rhythm with it. It's not like crazy, crazy heavy. So I, I, I think I can have a lot better feel uh, with short game with these wedges. So I'm gonna grab the seven iron next. Here we go. So hopefully I can strike this in the center. Oh, didn't make a mark yet. Right away, when I hit this one, I did, I did hit that one pretty good. It feels much softer than my Mizuno's. Like when I hit it in the center, I really don't feel like anything's there, which is uh, a bit different because before when I hit the center, I, I could feel the compression. I do feel some compression, but it's very, very light off the face. So I actually don't mind that. Shaft feels pretty similar again. I mean, it is kind of similar weight as before. Kind of purposely Try to hit it a little bit more on the heel to see what the miss hit kind of feels like. And again, it doesn't really feel that different. So I'm, I'm thinking that these are also pretty forgiving clubs. Hit a couple more, one more. Okay, so hasn't made, made a mark yet. I'm kind of okay with it because I know like the last couple shots, I actually hit it pretty good. But again, the feeling is not crazy different than my old uh, clubs. So. The weight feels the same. Um, feeling is a little bit different. I actually quite like it. Quite soft, like very, very soft off the face. So far, very, very nice. Um, so now I'll hit the four iron. So the four iron to me, remember when I look down at it, it does look a little bit smaller um, than my old clubs. It's not crazy smaller, but it, does, it is noticeably smaller. Ooh. Quite like that. Again, hit that one really nice. Uh, the feeling is just, again, like very, very light. Like again, like I said, very, like not the ball's not even there. That might take a bit of getting used to, but I like it so far. I don't think it's a negative thing at all. All right, let's see if I can. Okay, so I thinned that. Didn't really feel too bad, okay? Again, feels very, very light, even though I thinned it, which is actually, again, good sign that it's pretty forgiving as well. Nice. 
Okay. I'm liking these a lot. So now I'm even more curious to like hit the ball off the actual grass. Initial impressions just off the mat. Overall, I think these are really, really nice. I'm quite happy with these. Looks great, feels really, really nice. And it's not too big of a change from my old set, which I'm pretty thankful for. I don't have to adjust too much. All right, so I hit the new clubs. I wanted to go back to my old set right away just to kind of compare the feel or how it feels different. So I'm using my 58 degree wedge of my old set. And immediately as I set it down, it's definitely much heavier. Okay, so let's just kind of see. Yeah, the feeling as well, immediate, immediately different. It's not nearly as soft, actually. So quite like that, but for sure, I can really feel the weight a lot, a lot more with my old wedge, kind of throughout my backswing and the downswing, which is actually makes it feel a little bit harder to actually swing through it. So I'm liking my new wedges a little bit better. I do have a bit more control, I feel. Let's just see the seven iron now. Okay, so again, the weighting feels quite the same, looks the same but definitely the feel's gonna be a bit, a bit different. Yeah, I can tell immediately. It just feels a lot more like the ball's like staying on the face longer. Like I feel a lot more compression. So it's not that light feel that I had with the Tacoma lines. It does feel like much like a heavier hit, but again, a, a little bit of getting used to on that. Overall, um, the Tacoma definitely feels a lot cleaner after the strike. So four iron, okay, so same thing. This does look a little bit like, the face looks a little bit longer. Just hit that one a little bit. It definitely feels a lot more harsh. Um, I kind of towed it a little bit. A miss hit feels a lot more, you can kind of feel the vibration of hands a little bit more. So it doesn't seem or feel as forgiving as the Tacoma irons. Let's just hit one more. than that one. Uh, again, really, really harsh feel compared to Tacomos. So I think overall, I definitely prefer my, my new Tacoma irons more in terms of how it feels off the face. There's no harsh feeling or not nearly as much harsh feeling. So I'm pretty happy, guys. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Now, if you have any questions about Tacomo, I can leave the link to the website in the description box. The, the, all the details about the clubs, the specs, Everything will be there. And you can guys take a look at different models that they have as well. They don't just have the CBs, obviously. They have different models for different forgivenesses, different level of players. So be sure to check that out and let me know if you guys have any more questions. See you guys on the next video.